Hello everyone. I am back in the shop here because I did a little bit of tuning and the motors are much quieter now and it runs a little bit smoother. I also did get a spindle hooked up um, and wanted to give a sound test just to kind of hear the differences and what the sound level is. Uh, I do apologize. I think a vehicle's going by. I'm just in my garage. So if you hear that, I, I apologize on that. All right. So as soon as this vehicle continues to go by, we'll get a test level of how quiet it is in the shop with nothing running. And here we go. All right, the reason why I wanted you to kind of get an idea of that is a lot of you will know how loud a power supply is. And the microphone on this phone that I'm using is gonna pick up the sound of the fans, not the fans on the top of the boxes there. Those are disconnected, those are my cooling, but the fans for the power supplies inside the box. Uh, if you've seen those on the previous videos, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. But okay, let's turn on the system. If you hear that little hum, that is the fans from the power supplies. All right, looks like my system has booted up. We'll hit the reset so that it says ready, which means as long as it's in continuous mode, we should be able to move it around. And I did have to go into the menus and configure it so that when I hit the right button, it went right. When I hit left, it went left. But simple fixes. It's a very long menu list. I do plan on going through and just kind of showing what that looks like. So a lot of people that know more than what I do about it, then I have an idea of what, what this contains. But all right. So let's go ahead and load a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to use page. It's kind of like my menu system for these down here. And then we're gonna scroll down to my test number eight millimeters. And then we should move the system back. So I'm gonna hit second, which will allow me to go back to a zero point I have set. And we're gonna go pretty much all the zero. do have the time interval from when it starts moving from when I start to be the longest to give the spindle enough time to ramp up. And that's its fastest speed moving into position. And this will be the cutting speed. much quieter than what it used to be. Yeah, toolpath, and it'll give me a display of what we're running, make sure that the cooling is on. And what I'm gonna do is raise it up just a little bit. We're gonna move it back a little bit to the left. As I say, I was just making adjustments or something like that. And I'm going to plug in inverter so i apologize i'm not up there with you all right so plug in the inverter or the spindle oh i think i did no i did not i almost did now it's plugged in and that's the sound of the fan it's just an itty bitty fan that's on the top of the inverter. It's the loudest part of the system here right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and resume the cutting. Should get a little bit of time for it to ramp up before it starts moving. Start cutting again. I think 
think overall, pretty quiet system so far. I think I have a little bit of tuning and a lot to figure out on the spindle. Let's see if we can get this any quieter. Because I don't have any cooling hooked up. We're gonna get our pause button, turn that off. All right, folks have a great day. Back to work for me.